Hello there Parenting fans and happy Power Rangers Day. This is another retro Mighty Morphin Power Rangers review with me, Admin Golkin Ranger from the Golkin Ranger team. And as a special treat for National Power Rangers Day, we are reviewing some retro Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toys from 1993 to celebrate 25 years of Power Rangers. And now in this video, we're going to be reviewing the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Deluxe Megazord. Wow. Now this, Power Ranger fans, is the Megazord that started it all 25 years ago. Wow. And I remember when I got so excited about having this Megazord because this Megazord is still awesome 25 years on. It's awesome. It's just... Let's just get to the review before I have a crazy fan moment. <laughs> okay, so we have the the Red Ranger Jason's Tyrannosaurus, Pink Ranger Kimberly's Pterodactyl, Trini Yellow Ranger's Sabretooth Tiger, Billy the Blue Ranger's Triceratops, and Zack the Black Ranger's Mastodon. And also we have the Power Sword. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is have a look at each individual Zord and see the articulation and what they can do. And we'll take a look at the Zords, combine the Zords and see, check out the Mega Zord. Okay, so first of all, we're going to check out my personal favourite, the Tyrannosaurus. Now, the Tyrannosaurus is Jason's Dinozord, which is so cool. And I love the detail on this thing. It's just so cool. You've got nice blue eyes, stickers, just stickers, stickers, stickers. God, I remember the stickers took ages to stick on this thing. <laughs> but that's what parents are for, right? Hey, kids? <laughs> Oh, the sticker is a bit, this stick is a bit rough because over the years it's just been pushed around a bit. It used to be a lot neater than this, but unfortunately it's just got pushed around a bit. Air vents, some lightning bolts on the legs, which is really cool. I love the lightning bolt stickers. Bit of detail, stickers on the legs, on the sides. Tail looks really cool. The mouth can open and the, and the head can move as well. As part of transformation and the mouth can open. I'm pretty sure there used to be a sticker on there but it must have got lost years ago. <laughs> I don't remember I think there was a st sticker there. Yeah it seems there was a... yeah I think there must have been but it doesn't matter. Yep as for articulation the arms move as well like that but that's just part of transformation. The legs move but that's also just part of transformation. The tail tip can fold, but that's just part of transformation as well. Okay, so that's the Tyrannosaurus. Let's check out the Mastodon. That's the next sword that gets summoned after the when you summon the dinosaurs. So the Mastodon, it doesn't really have too much articulation. I mean, the back legs moves moves a bit, but that's only just part of transformation. The trunk can move, which is pretty cool. I have to say the tusks and the trunk are removable, but I obviously want to keep them intact. I mean, those that tend to be parts of the Dynamics or that do tend to go missing. But I do like the tusks on the Mastodon because it's just a nice chrome silver, which is really cool. Sorry, I'm just making sure they stay on. <laughs> so the Mastodon tusks are really nice shiny chrome silver, which is really nice. I've got M for Mighty Morphin on both sides which is really cool so we put that on there next is the triceratops now the triceratops is a really cool one because you've got chrome silver horns as you can see red eyes piece of the yellow on here triceratops horn some stickers on here a bit of chrome for the laser which turns and you can use Mine doesn't really stay up too well, but you can turn it to do the blaster cannons, which is pretty cool. And there's also wheels at the bottom, so it can... Wheels at the bottom, so it can... Oh, oh let me just move the blaster on back. So it can roll along, which is brilliant. Next is the saber-toothed tiger with chrome silver fangs, like this. So nice sticker details on the side. This is meant to be red, but for some reason they changed it to blue, like this part as well. That's meant to be red as well. 
And the legs move, but that's just part of transformation. And there's a wheel here, and also little ones on the back of the legs, which also move. The tail can turn as well to form the blaster cannon on the back, which is really cool. The fangs can move as well, but that's just part of transformation for the Meg Sword. And yeah, that's that part. Next, Pterodactyl, the last one, which is Kimberly the Pink Ranger Sword. Now it has the feet, or obviously the, the to go for the blasters for the tank mode, which we'll take a look in a moment. And we have the Pterodactyl head, it's got some nice red. There is a, and then there's, if you look on the back, there's some stickers on the back to represent the pink, which is very nice. The head can t move, so you can move it up and down as part of transformation, or bend the head up and down. So it's like that usually for tank mode, and then if you want it to be, it, for it to be flying, like that. Okay. So that's all of the Zords, so what we're going to do now is transform them into the Mega Zord. I'm really, really looking forward to this. This is going to be so more phenomenal. Alrighty, so now the time has come to remake the Mega Zord. First of all, let me just adjust the camera because I have a feeling this is going to be quite a big beast. I warn you now, it is. <laughs> okay, so first things first. What do we do first? Well, first of all, I'm going to move the, the Zords we don't need yet out of the way. So first of all, we're going to start with the Meg Sword in tank mode. So uh, I'm going to do how oh, I see it in the series. So first, Saber Two Tiger comes in. She grows, rah, and then she she folds her she fold the Saber Two Tiger folds the legs in, folds over the tail. So she's like this. So you want to fold up the legs like that, and then you want to so you want to make sure the legs are all folded up like that. And the legs are folded in like so and the tail is folded over so that's that side and then the triceratops rolls in and then the, he just flips over his tail now with the tyrannosaurus you have to press this little black button right here which which unlocks a little tab in here to allow the legs to fold in completely for the Megazord and then that will lock into place to stop the legs from moving then I want to get this ready by folding down the tail as well so then you just simply have to take the legs and simply just push them in like that and that's the same with the Saber Tooth Tiger as well the head then with the master on you want to take off the head and then split this apart after lift you lift up the legs split it apart like that turn the arms up like this and you see these pegs at the back well if you look at the back of the tyrannosaurus there's some peg holes here so you want to take that and then place it in place Leap into place and then oops, there we go and then you've got these peg holes and the pegs here so you just want to close and oops, close and clip into place lift these arm bits up so they're ready to go straighten up the arms like that I want to fold up the tusks of the safety tooth tiger like that so that's ready to roll with the pterodactyl you want to take off the legs simply just pull them off like that and you just want to attach them to the little holes on the mastodon's legs like that that looks good and the mastodon head we want to flip this part out like that. There's a hole on the t on the front of the Tyrannosaurus, so you want to put that into the hole, like that, and move the head down, move the tusk into position, just like that. Move the Tyrannosaurus head back down. 
pterodactyl will place in between the mastodon feet because there's a little clip bit of the, on the legs there we go and then it's not perfect but move to turn up their head and here we are the megazord in tank mode and because of the wheels at the on the bottom of the mass of the sorry triceratops and sit and save to tiger it is able to roll along like a proper tank and obviously in battle it would shoot lasers from all the eyes of the dinosaurs and the it will shoot the cannons out as well which you can move if you wanted to shoot an aerial villain like Goldar or something but we want to keep them down just like that now obviously when the when that's not enough the rangers uh, activate battle mode with the megazord power so we want to take the cannons off get pterodactyl to fly away and then megazord systems have been initiated basically all you're doing is turning these round the mastodon feet into itself to reveal the fists and then up we go so gonna clip the tail at the back and as the tails fold down we're gonna put the these parts in the, the cannons and here remove the mastodon head which is now as the handles out it's ready to form the sh the mammoth shield as they call it in the series so now the I'm going to do that now let's see if I can do this so this will go up you want to bend the feet and move the body up like this make sure the that these are bent up like this let me just adjust the camera quickly do, do, do. Do, do, do. zoom out just a bit like that then we're going to move down the arms a bit Make sure those stay up. Move the Tyrannosaurus legs up. The pterodactyl, if you remember in the series, would fly in. The pterodactyl would fly in, flip over, and then the head would tuck in like that. You want to fold in the wings as well. So it's just like that. The Tyrannosaurus head, we want to open this front bit up. Oop. I find it's easier to move down the arms than this bit down because it's easier to grab it and then want to move the tyrannosaurus head down into the chest so that make sure that's completely down close that up the pterodactyl has little pegs here which connect into here and the last bit is to flip this out like this Megazord activated and yep Megazord is activated <sighs> that looks so cool I love this thing it's awesome and then obviously power swords this power sword would come down from the sky and clunk into the ground and the Megazord would pick it up and it's ready to use in battle against Rita's evil monsters and when it needs extra protection we fly in the mammoth shield so yeah let's let's get a good look at that sword wow look at that this let me give you a quick look at the sword as you can see the sword is a beautiful chrome silver nice and shiny with very nice detail in here and then put that in there let's quickly zoom out just a bit more move the camera up slightly so we've got the very top of the sword yeah that looks fantastic I love this this is definitely one of my favorite toy makes or it's it feels so nostalgic retro and I love it and yes, that's it for this review. Obviously, we will be reviewing the Retro Dragonzord and Titanus very soon. So remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that review. And also, please remember to like the video, 
comment on the video because all your feedback is very important to us and share this video because we'd love to share this video around so all Power Ranger fans young and old will be able to get to see this in action because I think it will be important to show this to young kids because then you will be able to show them the kind of Power Ranger makes all you grew up wanting to get as a kid <laughs> okay well thank you guys for watching um, enjoy the rest of Power Rangers Day whatever you're doing to celebrate and keep safe, keep smiling, keep saving the world, keep being the more phenomenal you and may the power protect you. Have a more phenomenal National Power Rangers Day and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye Power Ranger fans!